Hello and welcome to another quick update about Algorand. Um, so similar to other cryptos, I also believe that Algorand is currently in its wave two after it had an impulsive move to the upside here throughout 2021, the peak in November 21. And since then it has been coming down in a more complex corrective wave pattern in a WXY um, elite wave pattern. And we are currently here within the Y wave. So the last wave of that, within that there is an ABC and within the ABC pattern, we are in the C wave. And within the C wave, it currently looks like we've also started the last wave down, which is amazing. Here in um, yellow, you can see the target area where actually from a higher level point of view, you would expect that overall correction to finish, that overall correction to end. Um, but the lower level wave count suggests we could even go a little bit lower. So this range here was between $30 and 55. However, if I look now in a little bit more detail, we can see that we have only just started and I go to the, let me go to the one hour chart. We can see that we have, um, yeah, formed here that we've come down in a wave three, we've moved up in a wave four. Yeah. So let me just, uh, come down. it's a bit difficult to, um, to see now on the one hour chart, everything seems to have shifted, but no, we moved down in a wave one, we moved up in a wave two, we've come down here in a wave three moved up in a wave four. And it looks like now that we have actually made a lower swing low, yeah, like many other cryptos, we broke the previous swing low here from the 12th of May and also the swing low from the 29th of May. Um, and that is highly relevant. I mean, it looks like we're currently retesting that from below. So if I add now a support line below the 29th of May low at 35 cents, you can see we dropped below that the low from today was uh, 32 cents and it seems like we're now retesting that from below and if this uh, retest is successful we're probably going to head further down so it really looks like that we are now starting this fifth wave down and the fifth wave down as per this elite wave count would also complete this overall correction yeah that is very very important um so we have started here and it looks like maybe we completed now already the first wave of that five wave move. So what you would expect now in this, in this move down, um, is that we have a five wave decline. So something like that, a one, a two, yeah, it could be that we move a bit higher than that previous wave three low, not a problem, a wave two, then a wave three to the downside, a wave four to the upside, a wave five to the downside. And that would complete the yellow wave five of a wave C, of a wave Y, of a wave two. And that's what I'm looking for. Now, how low could that actually go? Um, looking at the eight hour chart, yeah, if we zoom, go to the left hand side a little bit, or better probably the daily chart, we can look for important support levels. Yeah, highly relevant support levels. So first of all, I need to say every low could now be the last one. There will be significant support at 30 cents, just purely by um, it being the support level of my target area, the 88.7% Fibonacci retracement level. However, should we lose that level, which is not too unlikely, then we have support around here, 22 cents. I think that will be a very important one. The wave too low that you can see on the chart there, left hand side, 22 cents would be important support and below that key support at 10 cents. Now, do we really go down that low? I don't believe it, but I think 22 cents will be very important. And if we add the VPVR indicator to the chart, we can also get an idea of historical volume. And there you can actually see why the current price level is holding so well, because exactly here at 34 cents, we have a volume spike. Yeah, and historical volume and a very, very important area of trade. And this is why we're currently finding support here. And that support, that volume is declining the lower we go. So we need to be careful. I don't think we're going to hold the current level. I don't think so. There is still historical volume down there. And, um, you know, a level that would make sense is that 22, 23 cent level. But we also need to be aware that historical volume is declining. There will be less support and resistance levels. Okay, so the VPVR is showing us the current area. There's a massive support and we can expect it to turn around at any time now, given how low it has dropped. But the lower level wave count still would suggest declining prices, especially if we look at the 
um, ADX here that is still pointing here to the upside, the red line moving away from the green line, indicating a short signal. Yeah. Um, looking here at the RSI also declining again. And yeah, you can probably um, interpret into this. I mean, we can see a bullish divergence, but really, yeah, I'm a bit skeptical about that. So we're making higher lows here currently on the price chart, uh, lower lows on the price chart, higher lows on the RSI could indicate an upcoming um, move to the upside, but it doesn't need to happen today or tomorrow. It can take a bit of time until that happens. And the MACD is already pushing further down. So when we get a bearish cross here on the a, uh, on the MACD, that can obviously fuel further downside potential. Um, so yeah, I think we aren't over yet. And I also expect further downside for Bitcoin, taking all of that together in a wave two, I think we are heading here for further downside. I think of this wave five, we might have now only done the first wave, indicating there will be a few more waves to come to the downside and one level that would make sense where we will find support to complete this overall correction that would be around um, 20 cents, 22 to 23 cents. Now, should we lose that level, as I said, then there is a significant risk. We might even drop down to 10 cents, but let's hope that the 22 hold. Um, and from there, we have then a good chance to move back to the upside. And that is currently my view about Algorand. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.